Well, good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. Is it time for Big Bird to fly south? President Trump's new budget includes a proposal to eliminate $148 million in federal funding for the National Endowment for the Arts, the NEA, along with hundreds of millions more for other arts and entertainment programs, including PBS and NPR. The notion that artists won't get millions in taxpayer cash, as some of them irate, Robin Bronk is CEO of the Creative Coalition, an advocacy group that promotes the arts and entertainment industry and opposes Trump's cuts. Also an old friend of mine. She joins us now. Robin, good to see you tonight. An old young friend of yours. An old young friend of yours. But I, <laughs> I've disagreed with you on this for many years, and I continue to disagree with you on it now. So the NEA is, in effect, welfare for rich liberal elites. That's who consumes the products uh, that they produce. Why should, in a time of budget deficits, taxpayers be subsidizing entertainment for rich people? You know, it really stumps me that you would think that the NEA subsidizes programs for the rich elite. I mean, you're so smart, and you're so scoped, and you're so global, Tucker. You know that the NEA has grants and has granted to every congressional district in the United right. States. And I know you know that for every dollar that the NEA puts into a community, $10 comes back. Uh -huh. So even if you don't believe in the arts, which I know you do, I know that you believe in the right to bear arts, which is a campaign that was initiated by our president, uh, well, the Creative Coalition president, Tim Daly, what? to ensure that every citizen ha has that right to bear, bear arts. But but, but I'm, I'm confused. Arts is not a I mean, red I love issue. the name, the right to bear issue. arts, and I, I, and as long as I can put arts in a holster, I'm totally for it. But we live at a time when there are more rich people than at any time in world history. So, just for example, Jeff Bezos, Mark Zuckerberg, Warren Buffett together have more than 200 billion dollars. The NEA gets what 150 million a year. The they NEA can fund gets it like that. Zero, zero, zero point. Four percent, that's, that's a, a thousandth, thousandth of a percent of the federal budget, and it brings in ten times that amount. Let's just forget about the arts. Let's forget that the arts are what keeps America great. Let's look at economic development. I mean, I would assume that you're for oh. economic development oh, in this country. On. Come on. I mean, look, there are lots of ways to fund economic development, but you can't tell me this is the most efficient way. But more to the point, I don't understand why if... Rich people in this country like the arts, and, and they do, and I'm glad Boy, that they do. The, why you're they telling me that middle class and people don't this? like the arts, and, and the why arts wouldn't, don't serve poor why wouldn't people, someone with, serve people? With, it doesn't no, I'm serve sure the military? There are people who like art who are not rich. I'll concede that. My only point is, when you've got people running around with fortunes of 40, 50, 60 billion dollars, why not ask them to pay for public art? Why, why is that so hard? Why should middle class and poor why taxpayers have to pay for mutual, it? I don't get it. First of all, why is it mutually exclusive? Why wouldn't our government, our great nation, invest in something that brings back $10 for every dollar invested, that helps the military, that makes sure that underserved populations get to college, that uh -huh. makes for a better workforce? I mean, we have all the data, and it absolutely stumps me as mm -hmm. to why anyone would be against uh, such a small investment that okay. brings back such a but, Well, if it's such return. an investment, we, we should be spending tr a trillion dollars on it. But let me just ask you this. You said it helped the arts. I'm for that. What, what role did the NEA play in, say, the Battle of Fallujah? Let's look at the NEA and what role it plays. <laughs> let's look at what, what, what the role the, Let's look at what real. role the NEA plays uh -huh. in making America great. Are we for, you're on one team, I'm on another team, but are we both for economic development in this country? Right. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. Are we both here to, are we trying to make sure that the next generation is a leading generation? You have kids, I have kids. Do we want them to be complete and full citizens working to their maximum potential? Uh-huh. I'm on the blue team. Yeah, no, no. I, I, and I And I agree with you. We also don't want our kids to be addicted to heroin, which is a single most common cause of death for people under 30 lots of states. Why not take that money and fund drug rehabilitation? Perfect. I mean, look, there are a lot perfect, of demands perfect, on our perfect. money. That's all, that's NEA all I'm saying. NEA grants do fund programs that keep kids away from drugs, okay. away from the streets. That's what's so perfect. They're not and working that well in Kentucky right now, let me just say it. But can I just ask you a question that I've always wanted to ask someone who knows art as well, and you're obviously that person. 
Why would an artist want to take government money? I'm a journalist. I would never take government money because then I'd be owned by the government. I'd be a puppet of the state. I'd be producing propaganda. Journalists are supposed to be independent-minded. Why in the world would they want to be pawns of government? But basically, DMV workers with shabbier well, outfits. Like, what what I'd that like about? to hope is that the integrity of the National Endowment of the Arts stays and that it is not shackles upon an artist but rather gives an artist seed money to create work and to create programs to not only enrich the lives of others in their community, but to make money. And but what I want is that the purpose of art is to make money? I mean, isn't isn't listen, a government funded artist? The purpose of the art is to make for a rich and cultured population. But uh -huh. if you're all about making money and economic development, that's what's so great. The arts can do that too. Well, I didn't know what a great money-making scheme it was. I should have become an artist. No, um, what we need you to do is we need you to be part of the right to bear art. <laughs> okay, but I'm just saying, is it, don't you think it's kind of funny that artists who are, you know, against the grain and thinking for themselves, all of a sudden they're queuing up for their handouts from taxpayers? There's never been a national r referendum on this. I mean, the average person doesn't know what his money's going to. Why wouldn't artists just strike out on their own and be independent like they're supposed to be? Well, they're the, artists. The NEA grants, what they're, what they're designed to do is to be seed money, uh -huh. to grow the artist, to grow whatever product that artist is creating to better help society. Now, now, but I do want to understand this. Yeah. Why wouldn't we want to invest in something, yeah. the arts, that we know makes us a first world power? That's yeah. what I mean, I guess it depends what you mean by art. I mean, are you talking about, you know, paintings of dogs playing poker in Lee Greenwood? I mean, I'm kind of for that. If it's crucifixes in urine, not for it. I mean, that's kind of the point. You can't reach a consensus on what art is. So maybe oh, come on. Get so your, your brain, what, what do you think that, that, that art is in the community? Whether it's helping wounded warriors, okay. whether it's, <laughs> it's medical treatment. I mean, that's what's so great about the arts. Okay. The arts is that. the everyman issue. And then I am, am an so artist. happy. And you are an artist. Robin, we're out of time, but in art. But we're I not out of night. arts. No, we're not. Thanks a lot. <laughs>